Right now, a fully flexible August round-trip flight from London to Sydney in Emirates First Class will cost around $12,200. Alternately, the same trip in Economy Class can be as low as $1,800. What do First Class passengers get for the extra $10,400? And is it worth it? Let's find out. Your First Class experience begins before you even arrive at the airport. With Emirates chauffeur drive service, passengers are picked up and driven to the airport. This service will also collect you at your destination airport and drive you to a location of your choosing within a set distance. Once at the airport, passengers have access to the Emirates First Class Lounge, complete with a luxury shower spa, cigar bar and an elevated dining experience. When it's time to board, passengers have direct access to the aircraft from the lounge, complete with priority boarding, of course. Stepping aboard your 777 or A380, you'll enter your private, fully enclosed suite. This means total privacy with a floor-to-ceiling wall and door. Your seat will convert into a fully flat bed for which crew can be called upon to make up sheets for a night of sleep. For those flying on the A380, there's the opportunity to take one shower during the flight. The shower room can be booked for 30 minutes with 5 minutes of water per guest. Luxury high-end amenities are also available throughout the flight for passengers. In terms of meal service, high-end dining is on demand and can be requested at any time during the flight. Meals are also served on fine china with elegant cutlery. If you wish, your meal can be accompanied by some rare and exclusive wines and liqueurs. Furthermore, A380 passengers have access to the onboard lounge where hot and cold drinks and snacks are available. Finally, in terms of entertainment, first-class suites come with a personal widescreen that acts as a private cinema. Premium headphones come with this system to cancel out noise and provide an immersive entertainment experience. Before the current health crisis, Wi-Fi and live TV were a complementary part of the flight experience. However, cutbacks have meant that Wi-Fi is now an added cost and live TV is simply no longer available for the time being. For those in first-class suites without windows, passengers have virtual windows which connect to cameras outside the aircraft and display the world outside. So the big question, is this experience worth it? Well, with some journeys offering over 20 hours of total flight time across two flights, the question of whether or not this ticket is worth it will be up to the passenger and how much value they place on these exclusive in-flight services, as well as the cost of avoiding the discomforts of lower-class tickets. We'd love to know if you think the price of an Emirates First Class flight is worth it. Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.